Welcome to Skedlines Entertainment News. I'm Sam Layden, and to start us off, the television and film industry saw a huge boom in Toronto in the last year, which brought in over $2 billion from the film and TV producers. An increase over the $1.5 billion made in 2015. A big portion of the wealth came from the award-winning film Suicide Squad, but the TV show Suits is continuing to stimulate Toronto's economy by creating the equivalent of 2,300 full-time jobs to run their production. This has Mayor John Tory excited for a silver screen future in the city of Toronto. As Toronto's film industry grew, the U.S. film community seemed to diminish. The Oscars' most recent ceremony had the lowest U.S. viewership since 2008. It was a 4% drop from last year's Oscars. Though with a smaller audience, at least less people saw or even cared about the Oscars' big flop on, on Best Picture. The Academy has issued an official apology to the cast of La La Land and Moonlight for mixing up their award envelopes, but according to them, PricewaterhouseCoopers, the group handling envelopes that evening, has taken full responsibility. Neil Fingleton, the tallest man in Britain who portrayed a giant in Game of Thrones, has died at the age of 36. Fingleton's height made him a natural basketball player in college, but later he used that height to appear in movies such as 47 Ronin and X-Men First Class. His most notable role was in Game of Thrones as Mag the Mighty, one of the last giants left in their world. According to British news outlets, the actor died of heart failure this past Saturday, but no official cause ha of death has been determined yet. According to a British songwriter, the band U2 stole a song of his in 1991. 26 years later and he's ready to sue. Paul Rose claims that U2 stole elements from his song Nay Slappin' and used it in their song The Fly. He's asking for $5 million in damages, songwriting credit for The Fly, and for his, his lawyer fees to be paid. Rose believes U2 stole the elements because they were desperate for a new sound at the time. U2 and its representatives have not yet responded to the allegations. Rihanna is set to receive Harvard University's Humanitarian Award for her contributions to women and children in impoverished areas. The 29-year-old R&B singer built a state-of-the-art oncology and medicine center in Barbados to help detect and treat breast cancer. She also has a scholarship program which gives impoverished children in the Caribbean a chance to study in the U.S. She will be receiving the award later this evening. That's all your entertainment news for today. I'm Sam Layden, and from all of us here at Skedline, have an awesome day.